Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to upload files from Notion database to OneDrive. So we are going to learn how to integrate these two applications Notion and OneDrive in such a way that as soon as you create an item of a person's detail in your database in Notion, so that file of the detail will be uploaded on your OneDrive as well. So in this automation that we are going to create using Pabli Connect, our trigger will be the new item added in Notion and our action will be to upload file in OneDrive. Let us learn how to do that. So in this video, we are going to learn how you can upload file on OneDrive from the file that has been added in your Notion database for any specific contact or any employee as per given your condition. So let us quickly sign in into our automation software. That will take me to this place where I can see all the applications provided to us by Pabli. We are going to use Pabli Connect to create this automation. Click on access now given under that and you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here, you will see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as upload files from Notion database to OneDrive. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you will be able to see on your screen. You will see trigger an action window over here. Trigger is going to be the first application where you will make the changes manually and that is going to be the trigger event which will trigger this workflow. When the workflow starts running, the action application will be the place where the action will be performed manually because of this automation. So make sure that before you start with this workflow, you have opened your Notion database and your OneDrive over here so that it will be easy for you to connect and also cross check whatever action you perform. So the trigger application for this workflow is going to be Notion because first the detail will be updated in your database and then further the action will be OneDrive where the file will be uploaded. The trigger event over here is going to be new database item and then you have to connect your Notion and your Pabli Connect in such a way that every time a new data is entered over here that is fetched to your Pabli Connect as a response. Click on connect and then click on add new connection. Connect with Notion. And then since you have already opened your Notion database in your separate tab, Pabli Connect will detect. Here you have to do some changes where you have to view the pages you select, edit, create contact or view comments. You have to select in this way whichever action you want to perform. Click on select pages and then you have to select the database from where you want to fetch the details. For example, either you can go for all the pages or you can just select the one that you want to work upon. Like I want employee details to be fetched. So while selecting this, I will click on allow access and then Notion and Pabli Connect will be connected. The authorization is successful. Since it has connected, the database ID will automatically be selected because this is the one we opted for. Now, when you click on save and send test request, it will fetch the information that is in the row over there. So here we have the response. We have the name of the person. Then we have many more details like the name of your file that you have uploaded. And this is the same file you will be uploading to your OneDrive as well. And this is the link that will take you to the document. So if you copy this complete link from here and open it in a new tab, you will see that this is the document in the PDF format. So we are going to paste this link over there when you upload this file to OneDrive. So we are going to use all these information. So let us close our trigger window because we have received a response from our trigger. Now we move on to our action step and the last step which is where we choose our application as OneDrive. Microsoft OneDrive is the one you will choose and the action event will be to upload file. Now before you upload file, make sure that you have made a folder over here in your OneDrive where you want to upload these files. Like I have this over here employee detail. Here one person has already been created. Now you come over here and click on connect. Add new connection, connect with Microsoft OneDrive and here you will click on yes and give access to Pabli Connect to connect with your OneDrive. Now once this is done, a folder will be selected already. So you have to choose the folder from this given list. The name of our folder over here is employee details. So we are going to find it over here and this is the folder name. Now once this is set, you have to enter the file name, the file URL and what kind of file it is. So here only one option is given to you default. So there is no changes to be made to this one, but the file name will be mapped over here from the name of the person. Make sure that you have given an extension like if it is an image, so .jpg and if it is a document, then the extension of a document. Like for example, we have it over here .pdf. Okay, so this is done and the file URL as we mentioned while the trigger responses. So here find the link that we opened this properties, files and media files, file URL. Make sure that you choose this one and this is the link that you have given. Now you just have to click on save and send test request. 
and you have received a response. Now, see over here, it says the application processed the request but returned a blank response. So, this means that it is not an error. If there would have been any error, the response would have shown error. But it says that the request has been processed. We could not receive a response but our work has been done. So, close this window and move ahead to check that were we able to upload a file in OneDrive or not. This is our folder. Refresh this and here we have received. When you open this, this is the PDF that we checked in our trigger response as well when we opened the file in a separate tab. So this is the one we have already uploaded. We are able to view the file as well, which means our workflow has been success. So first you enter the details in your database over here and the same details will be uploaded in your OneDrive with the help of this workflow. So this was the whole video. I hope this helped. Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.